we are here with you in session and we hope that you will be brave enough to join us a bit about me I am a certified life coach and I'm here with clientele experience, with professional experience as a wellness life coach. Uh, this is recovery month for any of those who are interested in recovering yourselves from anything that has broken you. I want to first uh, say that and I'm happy to have anyone come in. We're going to show you how it works. Um, we are not doctors, but I am a professional life wellness coach and we want to get you to talk. Sometimes we just need to talk and sometimes we not, may not feel like we want to talk. What is there really to talk about? Well, many of us deal with so many things you can probably find something to talk about. And if you're up to the challenge, if you are up to the challenge, I would love to have you guys come on in. Our lines are working. Um, if you have something you want to talk about, uh, I do virtual sessions and individual group sessions all for anyone who basically wants to do it. There is such a need for us to heal ourselves. Sometimes healing yourself from yourself is even a better idea. And how do we do it? We learn to talk. We learn to use verbiage when we want to say something, when we want somebody to know something. Uh, verbiage is very important, guys. And that's one of the things that I do. I wish I would see more of that on social media because there are so many people that are dealing with so much. And if you're one of the people that are dealing with so much, you know exactly what I'm talking about. To deal with so much and don't really know how to get it all out. There is a need in my community and in your community to talk. We're busy talking about so much, but for a moment, I'd like to tell you that I train in talking to others, talking about themselves. Some of us love to talk about ourselves, but I want to ask you something. Do you think that Getting to know yourself is something that we all deserve. Getting to know ourselves in that being connected to ourself is important. Or is it? What do you guys think? The community in which I live in, in Southern California, um, I'm going to tell you right here, right now, that the community in which I live in is not enough mental health 
and emotional health without paying for yet. And how do we do it here? It's all on voluntary basis. If you want to donate, you are more than welcome to. As a wellness coach, I've had much experience. I have been certified. I have been also a teacher educator for 16 years. Our virtual sessions are great because you're getting to meet other people, but you're always able to connect with me. You're always able to connect one-on-one -on -one with me and you're always able to connect in a virtual setting. And I figured that I would bring it to social medias because so many people need this. This is called Vibe Talk in Session. Vibe Talk where you get to tell us how you're feeling. If you want to call up and just say hello, We'll take that, too. We want to hear from you without you having to worry about if you have money or if you are in a certain status bracket, you can get the help. This is for everyone. But we want to use a word of caution. If there are kids who are online, please let your parents know um, and let them know that you have something positive. Um, it's real important. So we want to help you guys out there, wherever you are. And by the way, I do have a podcast. And that podcast is by the same name, Vibe Talk Facing the Lion Podcast. Take a listen to it to help in your healing. People are uncomfortable talking about things that have happened to them, things that have bothered them. So what do they do? They actually hold on to it. My question is, but why? When you hold on to something, you carry it and its weight around. What I want you to do is know that it's okay to talk to people. And it's okay to talk things out. People have indeed been through so much. So this is going to give you the opportunity to be able to help somebody else. And I have spoken to people all over the world. Just let me tell you. I've spoken to people all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to tell you my first year in being a networking for people, it went over really well. And we want to let people know that we're still here. So every time you see on Facebook in session, we want you to know that that's our time. We'll spend an hour and talking to you guys and we hope that you all will learn something from in session in session is also done individually and no matter where you are I want to tell you something in session can be done wherever you are no matter how you feel 
in session can be done any and everywhere. And we want you to know how important it is. We want you to realize that you can reach out. Recovery from something doesn't mean that you're necessarily a drug addict, uh, that you are a um, alcoholic, substance of any kind doesn't mean that, but it can mean that. What are some things that you may need to recover from? How about stress? Post-traumatic stress. How about depression? How about things that have traumatized you? We have a podcast about that, releasing our feelings. And it's important because it can make you sick to hold on to things. I've learned that in life. In life, I've learned that when you need help, it's okay to just say, I need help. And I know from experience that so many people are begging for help, don't quite know where to turn. So this is your opportunity to know. We will give you resources. We will answer questions. We will not play doctor. We will not play psychologist. But we will advocate for you to speak out so that you can begin to heal and start your recovery. Recovering from something. With that, I'd like to ask you, what do you think you need to heal from? Is there anything in your life that upsets you? Before you say no and nothing, because we're quick to do that to ourselves. What is it in your life that you need to stop hurting from? Or even have someone stop hurting you? Because sometimes we need to have identifiers of what's hurting us, who's hurting us, when did that hurt begin, and why. Recovering ourselves. And I want you to think about when you hear the word recovery, it's not always, and I must state, it is not always something that means. drug addiction, chemical dependency. Recovery can be a lot of things. So I ask you, what do you think you need to heal from? What makes you better or best? Just about everyone that I have spoken with or to, young men, women, children, older, they're healing from something. And I want you to do yourself a favor and start to heal. We've done in session before, and 
if you know anything about my daytime podcast, you'll know that we organize it so we are talking about feelings. We are talking about emotions. We are talking about the experience. Is it painful? Some. Remember, as you start to work hard, working hard doesn't always feel good. But as you practice working hard, you see the results of your hard work. And I encourage all of you to do this. And that's why we're making it so public. We want to make it where you guys know that in the face of your feeling like there's no one to talk to or there's no more life, that you have somewhere to go. You have somewhere to go. And I need you to make a solemn promise that you will do that. We are in California. And most of the time, if you are not overseas, it doesn't cost you anything. We are getting an 800 number. We don't want it to be just any number, but we want it to be a number that is safe for you. This number is not a house number. It is a number that connects you anytime we do our Vibe Talk podcast and our Vibe Talk in session. In session always means that we're talking. Not only talk to people, but Here's some something else that we do. We are people that give you resources. Let's say you are living in New York City and you need to have some type of support. We're going to give you the best resources. And wherever you live. When we first started uh, Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast, we reached every state. No kidding. And people would call in. We've personalized things, but you're still able to call in. The only thing that I don't do is give you privy to other people in their individual session. Group session is fine. Why is that okay? Because people want to see people that can identify with them, especially when you feel all alone. When you feel all alone, you feel like nobody understands or nobody cares. You've all felt like that. But when you're in the virtual sessions, you begin to identify with what the caller has to say and you can listen in without interruption. Let's be fair to one another. So if you're hearing this at this moment and time, I want you to be able to share with anyone that you come across because it doesn't matter what size you are it doesn't matter your ethnic background your religion whatever color you are whatever um, 
you think you are. We don't want that to get in the way of you being able to call and reach out. We're nothing new. Maybe to you, but we are nothing new. We are simply a group that is working on welling yourself. When you become a wellness coach, you are sort of a counselor. But you're working on strategies with your clients to better themselves, whatever they're dealing with. Each client has dealt with different things. And many of my clients are working on themselves. When will you start? We want you to come at your own discretion, but when you have in session, we want you to be able to share it. I will tag you in it when you hear it, if you'd like to be tagged. Um, we are going to ask you, please, uh, if you get this live, to please tag someone that needs it. There's a lot of folks out there, and I don't know if you've noticed, just take a look. How many people do you know could use a lift of motivation, a lift of inspiration, just to be able to sit in a group and talk can change a life forever. We've got a lot going on. And unfortunately, we need more, or unfortunately, there is not enough positive. So we want to make it our Vibe Talk Direct uh, Connect in session all about people being able to come and say, I'm tired. I feel like I can't make it. I feel like uh, my walls are coming down. We want to be able to get you the immediate help. And I think for every community, yours, mine, theirs, they should have something like this. We want you to know that we do this out of our time and we also always make sure that we want you to feel comfortable. And it's not a comfortable thing to be able to master talking about who you are or what you've been through. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you've listened to this already today, I want to just tell you something. Can you do me a favor? Can you go listen to a podcast? They're all titled, If They're Not, Make Us Aware of It. And we stream our podcast. But in session, it's all about wellness. We ask a question through the week. How many people want to get well? That's our Wednesday wellness. And we want to tell you, we have a, people that really do listen. Sometimes you think that nobody is in the room when you find out that 300 and some people have listened to one podcast or even less than that. If one person listens, that means one life has been touched. Four years I have been online. You know, when we get on social media, we think about numbers. And we do talk about numbers because we do want to know if we are reaching out to the people. 
and the public. So numbers can be important, but if we didn't have any numbers, that would be something. But the fact that one or two people listen, that makes a difference. We do follow-ups, too, to find out how you're doing. So we don't just leave you. I ask a lot of my clients, are they into uh, getting professional help? Because nobody's asking that question. And sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, it helps to be able to have someone to talk to, someone that is trained in that area that they can tell you exactly that. Here's how I work with people and I find I find it so fascinating that people are not giving the answers. What they're doing is being able to face their lions and being able to first see that they're being challenged with something. Whatever it is that you're challenged with, whatever it is that has hurt you, whatever it is that makes you do what you do, you get to figure it out through talking. I was not a great talker when it came to what was going on with me until I really started to go through some emotional meltdowns. And I got counseling for that until I was my worst enemy. And a friend suggested to me, hey, you know, have you ever had professional help? You know, sometimes our culture keeps us from having that. But we say, we're not important enough to get this help. But I want to tell you something. I want you to learn to be important enough. Be important enough each day to do one kind thing for yourself, and that is if you need someone to talk to, be brave, be lion-like enough to be able to have the courage to say, I want the help. I'm willing to get the help. Because it's one thing for someone to tell you that you need it, but it's a whole other thing for you to recognize that it's helpful. And I know, like I said, that there are a lot of cultures out there that don't believe in it. But think about it. How much do we all like to talk? We all talk a mile a minute, right? All of us. We so talk a mile a minute, it's not even funny. But we need to get connected to ourselves. If, in fact, you've noticed you want to be well. And you don't have to have any type of tragedy to come into a vibe talk facing the lion podcast. It's also, by the way, interactive. So when you come and you're online with us, all you have to do is press the button and it'll be in this link's discussion in the comment section. It's Vibe Talk facing the lion. Can't miss it. Now we know that there are so many people that know about it. You know, um, Instagram has this thing called threads. And before I came on here, I got on here to announce 
that where we're going to be here. Where we're going to be here. And I want to talk about this for a moment because we are free, free human. We do what we want to do. And we're free to do that. There are thousands of people who send you friend requests and some of it is a lot of nothing. I'm on here strictly, strictly because I want to help as many people as I can. Why is that? Because I've helped myself. Someone reached out and helped me. Stop being in denial of things that may have affected you. And I want you to start being brave. There's nothing wrong with somebody being brave. I want you to start thinking about yourselves in retrospect of self-caring for you. You know, going back to the Instagram threads, you know, it's a lot of good things. But then there are people who are doing friend requests and friend requests and I'm simply on there just to let people know if you want to get help, there is help. We've been on air for three and a half years. And I know that it takes a lot of effort for people to really come and talk about what they want to talk about. We're giving you that. I'm on social medias to help and direct people. If you need people to come out and speak, we are doing schools, young people need this. Our kids. We live in a time where our kids, they don't really want to tell us what's going on. But we need to know that they're facing bullying, peer pressure, academic pressures that affect their learning, their home environment, affects what happens at school. And as a an educator of 16 years, for the young people, I'm going to tell you, it was the most rewarding time of my life. So I want to get back into the schools to show them how wellness coaching is an option. I hear so many young people taking their own lives. They're not living to 20, 40, 60. I want to see longevity among these young people who are bright, who can lead a bright future if they have someone who listens. So that's my goal, is to be able to get back in the schools, not as an educator for classrooms. That was my time. I loved it. But there is a new chapter in my life. But in order for us to help and support each other, we must realize that there is a need. Some communities may not even have something like this. And I actually went back to my hometown 
to make awareness that this was what I was going to do for the hometown that I grew up in. It all started from the COVID, realizing that people really were faced with the challenge of staying at home, not not being able to see their loved one or staying at home and appreciating their loved ones for the first time because we couldn't go out. What I'm asking you today to learn from this and come together in a virtual setting. Now we talked about social medias and social medias. They invite you here and invite you there and and everybody gets on the comments but nobody wants to face the reality of themselves. And I guarantee you, it is the most beautiful thing. Sometimes it feels ugly. And then there's going to be times where people won't understand you. It's like you're speaking a foreign language. When you start to know and access yourself and you start to say something, don't be afraid of that. Because if you've never spoken up before, I guarantee once you are listening to Vibe Talk or once you are doing the work with me, you will learn to speak up. We all have had different experiences in life. And our lives to experience has created for us an environment. So in session is all about your coming in and your being able to say, I want to help somebody. You know, I look at the Me Too movement. Once people started getting on to the Me Too movement, what happened? Other people were encouraged to come out. Okay, yes, that's a different thing, but the moral of it still applies. Once you somebody supports something, another person supports it. I started in my community. I went back as an older woman and I started to be able to speak out. And like I said, I want to get back into the schools. I want, I want to be able to create wellness for myself. Sometimes people will get upset because you know what you want. And just because they're not fitting into your equation, they get mad. And they start to treat you as if you're the one that there's something wrong with. I'm going to tell you something. This program has helped me to understand myself. It's okay if you don't understand me, but I got connected to myself. I stopped wanting the toxic parts of myself. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to clarify myself. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to be straightforward. But I'm able to say what I need and what I want. Some of you are not able to say that because of how you were raised. You are an adult now. You can be accountable for yourself. And I say that while using caution. Because being accountable for yourself doesn't mean that you don't mind the children that you're responsible for. But there will be times in your life where you will have to exit relationships just to be able to heal yourselves. That's the new me. And it isn't saying goodbye, it's saying good night. Why did I come here? Because Vibe Talk has helped me to realize it. Now, as you're looking at this 
picture that I'm creating for you, you might indeed say to yourself, wow, that's a wellness coach. I didn't become a coach because I didn't experience. I became that because it was somebody that needed to hear my story. Be right back. So as I started to recognize what I needed, what I wanted, I thought, wow, you know, it feels great to be able to say that and actually have some success. And I'm asking of you the same thing. In session, it's all about you and all about how you want to see yourself a month from now, a year from now. How do you want to see yourself? What do you want to do? How do you want to be? Think about it. As you see yourself, you can see better versions of yourself. You don't have to stay the same. You don't have to exist because someone makes you feel like a million bucks. How about making yourself feel like a million bucks? Because then you're able to pour into other relationships. It's funny because I have friends all the time who want to set me up as a single middle-aged woman. And the reason I refuse so much is because I need to work on me. And we all need to work on ourselves. But how can I be of assistance to someone if I'm going to not work on myself? Because you can't bring people into relationships and you have so much that you have not worked out. It doesn't mean I'm going to be an old maid. It just means that I don't want to have other people's baggage. I want them to be well, too. Not perfect, but welling themselves. We talk about relationships here as well. So if you see someone that you think really needs it in all seriousness, tag them. This is not about numbers. This is about life. And communities needing to have more of this. A lot of times there are things, there are little catches you know, people say, we can't get help because we don't have insurance. We can't get help because we don't have this or that. And the list goes long and deep. Vibe Talks help you to connect. Where you can just actually come in and be able to talk. Uh, good morning. We also want you to realize that as you are connecting, we do our best to help you help yourself. And we are so happy that you're able to come freely. We do this all the time, all the time. And we want you to be able to know that there is help for anyone who needs it, for anyone. You're not without help. We'll be right back.
We're back. And thank you so much. Me and my sis. Good afternoon. We are in session. And I am Nisi. And we're talking about in session. This is where you can talk about anything that has been weighing on your mind. So we ask you the question. Do you have anything that you want to talk about? As you're coming in, do you have anything that you like to talk about? This is where it's at, and if you'd like to talk about anything, we'd love to have you. We certainly would, and we're going to create a group, and whatever it is that you have that you want to talk about. And as people are talking, here's what I would like for you all to do. Be respectful. You know, so sometimes I get on here and they clown around. We won't pay any heed to that because this is serious and I take my job seriously. So I'd like to create a group that everyone can come in and just get things off their chest. And if you need further help or want to see me, um, in a setting of just one moment. back and took a small <laughs> intermission. I'm so sorry. I am here though and we're live. So today is our very second day. We just wanted to kind of see where we were going with the in session. And as you see the in session, we want you to know that we are here. So thank you for joining us and please 
tag yourself or someone in here and we will reach out to you. Thank you so much.